Hello everyone, and we have a brand new problem here, and this problem is courtesy of one of my students, and he sent me this problem. Thank you, CJ, for sending me this problem, and uh, I found it a little interesting because I see some word expression inside the integral symbol, and as you can notice, there are a lot of radical expressions, and yeah, so we have the, here the square root, cube root, fourth root, fifth root, sixth root, and the expression goes on and on without and and as you can see we might say that this is a very quite difficult to integrate because of this uh you know weird expressions but upon investigation and by applying some algebraic processes i found a simpler way on how to find the integral of this expression so let me just start by rewriting this expression by applying some laws of radical so as you can notice this can be written of this form so you have here x and then times and this x is written inside the square root so you have square root of x and then this whole bunch of expression here is still written inside the square root so you have the square root of the cube root of x and then times and then inside this cube root and the square root we have here fourth root of x x times so on and so forth so you have the square root of the cube root of the fourth root of x and then goes on and on until you reach the last term of the expression and then you just write uh, an ellipsis here and then you just simply write dx and then by applying the uh, you know the laws of radicals and the laws of exponents so this expression can be written of this form so you have x here and then x raised to one half for this one and then you have x raised to one half times one third so that's the square root of the cube root of x and then going on you have x raised to one half times one third times one fourth and that's the square root of the cube root of the fourth root of x and you have x raised to one half times one third times one fourth times one fifth and that goes with the square root of the cube root of the fourth root of the fifth root of x and we have x raised to one half times one third times one fourth times one fifth times one six and that's the square root of the cube root of the fourth root of the fifth root of the sixth root of x and it goes on and on and then you just simply write the x and then again by as you can notice here this one half and this one half times one third and then this one half one third one fourth can be written in in factorial notation such as x since the power of x here is one, so you can write it of the form one all over one factorial. And this x raised to one half can be written as x raised to one over two factorial since this two can be written as two factorial. And then this two times three, so this is equal to one six. And you know that six is equal to uh, three factorial. So you have x raised to one over three factorial. And then this one goes with x raised to one over four factorial. And then going on, we have x raised to one over five factorial, then x raised to one over six factorial, and then goes on and on, x raised to one over seven factorial, and then running until infinity, then dx. And then by applying the laws of exponents, we know that we have here similar bases, so we can add the powers, and you can write it of this form. So you have x raised to one over one factorial plus one over two factorial plus one over three factorial plus one over four factorial plus one over five factorial plus one over six factorial plus running until infinity and then you just simply affix dx. Now, so how do we want to integrate this? As you can notice, the power here now is a constant. So you can now use the, uh, you know, the integral of uh, power. So you have u raised to n du is equal to u to the n plus one over n plus one plus c. So we can do it, but however, this is quite a little painful on, I, on our eyes. So allow me to simplify this further. So we have, uh, huh? we have to recall the, the uh, infinite series for the e to the x or the polynomial expansion of the transcendental function e to the x. And this polynomial transcends the, the exponential form e to the x. And that is equal to 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial running until infinity. And um, how can this be related to this expression? And we say that when x equals 1, so we can now have, we will replace this by 1. We will replace this by 1, 1, and 
it goes like this. Okay, so we now have E is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial. And it's now very obvious observation that this expression is now equal to this one. Okay, so simply we just only need to avoid 1 on the right side and we just throw it out on the other side of the equation. So you have E minus 1 is equal to this one. Okay, so we can now simply rewrite this all right as the integral of x raised to e minus 1 dx and then by, again by applying the laws of exponents or the the integral sorry by applying the integral of power so you have x raised to e minus 1 plus 1 all over e minus 1 plus 1 plus c or simply you have x raised to e over e plus c so simply the the integral of uh, the given expression is equal to x raised to e over e plus c. And yeah, just comment down below if you have questions or if I miss something on the uh, solution. Thank you.